Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Tuesday, October 11th. It is the 284th day of the year. There are 81 days left. Happy National Face Your Fears Day. National Face Your Fears Day is celebrated on the second Tuesday of October every year, on October 11th this year. Whether you have a deep-seated fear of public speaking or are terrified of spiders, this day is an opportunity to step out and overcome things that are holding you back. Though some credit the creation of National Face Your Fears Day to public speaker Steve Hughes, who reportedly founded the day in October 2007, the history surrounding this day is uncertain. The Oxford English Dictionary defines fear as an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. Fear is one emotion that is universal, experienced by all classes of people, be they old or young, poor or rich, educated or illiterate. According to scientists, fear is purely physical. When a person is confronted by a stimulus or the subject of fear, a physical reaction occurs in the brain. The part of the brain called the amygdala immediately goes to work and alerts the nervous system of a possible threat. In response, stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline are released, preparing the body for fight or flight. This response prepares the body to either stay and confront the situation or to run to safety. The blood pressure goes up, the heart rate increases, and the palms get sweaty. All these are signs that the body is experiencing and processing the emotion of fear. This proves that the fear response is involuntary, meaning that it happens without conscious thought. But just because it's an automatic response doesn't mean we should allow our emotions to control us. Fear can be useful in protecting us from danger, but when we allow fear to become debilitating, we limit ourselves and deprive ourselves of all the experiences that this life has to offer. On National Face Your Fears Day, it's time to stand up to those fears and say yes to courage. Today is also National Spread Joy Day, National Sausage Pizza Day, International Day of the Girl Child, and It's My Party Day. So I have a cool tool that can help you figure out a plan to help you face your fears. So gather the following supplies. You'll need a piece of paper, a ruler, and then a pencil and a marker. It's really not a fancy one, but this is a really cool way to do this. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're going to draw a set of stairs. So you're gonna start at the top of your paper and draw a rectangle. And then right underneath that, you're gonna draw a rectangle that's just a little bit bigger and then another rectangle that's a little bit bigger, and then another rectangle that's a little bit bigger. So four rectangles getting bigger as you go down the page. Now on the fifth rectangle, you're gonna leave a little bit of space between it and the rectangle above it and draw, and then you're gonna connect the bottom corner to the top corner and the bottom corner to the top corner. And then you're gonna do that for three rectangles at the bottom little bit bigger each time and then draw a line connecting and then if you look you made a set of stairs which is pretty cool right since we're talking about steps to get over our fears now because this is me focusing on my fear of snakes I went ahead and drew a snake at the top as what my goal is as I climb up the stairs and then I went ahead and outlined the stairs with black marker. So now once you've built your steps, then you want to start thinking of some steps you can take to work on your fears. So Mrs. Erickson is very afraid of snakes and it's something I want to overcome because I know most snakes aren't scary. I have friends that have pet snakes. I get scared even when I see them when I'm walking outside and I know they're not dangerous snakes. So I want to work on this one so I can maintain my control when I'm around a snake. 
So these are the steps that I took, starting with something easy and working up towards something difficult. So for instance, I said, I'd like to look at a book about snakes with pictures of snakes inside of it. And believe it or not, that even scares me sometimes. And then maybe I'll go and watch a video about snakes. So if a book is scary, a video is a little bit scarier, right? And then I'll go to the pet store or the zoo and I'll look at real snakes in a safe space, which would be behind glass. And then I'll check in with one of my friends who has a pet snake and see if maybe they will let me look at it while they hold it. And then if I'm feeling brave and ready to take the next step, I can touch the snake and eventually hold the snake I don't know that I'll ever be completely over my fear, but I know that I'll be able to control myself and my reaction and response when I'm around a snake instead of being so super scared that I just go crazy. So this is my steps that I take in order for me to be able to function with a snake close by. Okay, National Dares. So we have our plan. And nobody said this has to happen in like a week, right? Take your time. Do what you're comfortable with. This was the plan that I used to be able to actually hold a snake. And I'm super proud of this because I have been afraid of snakes since I was little, little, like in kindergarten. And I'm so proud of people that aren't who could hold them and think they're so cute and cuddly and they just love them. And I really want to get there someday. But for now, at least I'm not as frightened of them as I used to be. So I faced my fear. I hope you can come up with a plan to do the same and check this picture out of Mrs. Erickson holding a snake. Keep smiling. Have a terrific Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Check it out. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shout outs today start us off with Ms. Cervantes and everyone in the ESALE unit, first through fifth grade at Hawthorne Academy in San Antonio, Texas. Next up is Mrs. Packman and everyone in the middle school program at West Shore ESD Rising Stars in Scottville, Michigan. Third up today is Dr. Jordan and everyone in the music program at Emerson Academy of Dayton in Dayton, Ohio. Fourth up today is Mrs. Ruggles and everyone in the Transition 611 program at Maryvale Academy at Erie One Boces in Buffalo, New York. And our fifth shout out today goes out to Mrs. Williams and everyone in the Middle School Life Skills Program, grades five through eight at McCall Middle School in Montoursville, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated, super spectacular shout out map.